Hallelujah. Every prayer then becomes a blessing. Hallelujah. When you know that the Lord is yours. Hallelujah. Amen. In the blood of Christ, my Lord. In the blood of Christ, my Lord.
amen. One of the things that we as Christians, most of the time we say, we fail to say thank you. The Lord does so many things for us. When we are in desperate need, we go and ask him, but we always fail to say thank you, amen. But this afternoon, amen, we just want to say thank you, Lord, amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks, amen. Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all. Thank you. 
I know um, I just it was short notice, so I just felt like to say this dream. But I just wanted to say, you know, I've me my own personal testimony. I came from a dark place, and the only thing I know is just to walk with Him. And I just want to say to you, say, it's walk with God, because with God He leads you, He guides you. Amen. So, Hallelujah. So, yeah. Amen. And um, I mean, great. I didn't have a verse prepared today, but I believe God will work things out for the good. Amen. Amen. And I'm in great expectation today. Amen. Amen. From Father Teach. I've heard many great things. I've I've been I've been able I've been listened to a sermon yet, so today I'm in great expectation. Amen. I Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Who else is in great expectation today? Amen. Amen. Be close to the deep, but I'm prepared. Amen. Amen. As we welcome our brother uh, Teach, I would like to sing Amazing Grace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
is the one you uh, I like that. <laughs> Come when the pastors are not there, so I can have freedom <laughs> to run around. <laughs> but I'm so glad to uh, pray for him. He was to we talking last night. There's a big work. There's a big work in Norway there. But we thank God that God is helping and supporting us. Amen. Keep praying for the saints over there. And Amen. It's not easy to fly back and forth. Amen. But it's for the kingdom. Amen. Amen. We are not, we will not shy away from responsibility. Amen. Amen. But God bless you and sometimes you wonder, what am I going to preach? Is this the right thing or not? But so I was wondering all the way, even until I sat down, saying, Lord, please change my mind. <laughs> Give me something else. Then I had a song being sang. Amen. Amen. When the song leader picked the last song, I knew for sure. Amen. We are in the will of God. Amen. When I had the sister's testimony, I said, ah, thank you, Jesus. So this afternoon, I can declare to you, the kingdom of the devil is in trouble. Me, I like to fight against the devil. My contention is with the devil. It's a contest. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't. Uh, Spare the devil. Amen. When I get a chance to hit, Amen. I give a punch Amen. so that he doesn't wake up again. Amen. So if I kill him today, Amen. so that he never bothers you for the rest of the week, Amen. job is done. Amen. Amen. So we want to we want to fight the enemy Amen. this afternoon. Amen. Amen. Me, I am not brother Luke. I am not Brother Luku. I am not Brother Robert. Amen. I just do things my own way. Amen. If I try to be somebody else, I am doing God a disservice. I uh, hope you allow me to be myself. Amen. Uh, I, I, if what, that's the way God made me. Amen. If I try to be anything else, it doesn't work. Amen. So I pray that you pray for me. Amen. That God will help us this afternoon. Amen. So, without wasting much of your time, let's rise up to our feet. Turn our Bibles to the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20. And we shall also read Zachariah chapter 4, Second Chronicles 20. Uh, I saw Brother Robert yesterday. Amen. And he said, we are not coming. Uh, we are not coming, yeah. uh, but he is here. We are not coming. God but changed the program, amen. God changed the program, <laughs> but we thank God either amen. way, amen. 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 Second Chronicles chapter 20, reading from verse 14. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Metaniah, and Levite of the sons of As Asaph, come the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Amen. Amen. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Metaniah, the Levite of the sons of Asaph, Come the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Oh, that's good enough for me. Amen. Amen. God knows you by your tribe. Amen. God knows where you have come from. Amen. Amen. He can trust your origin. Amen. Amen. But you know the beauty of that scripture says, Come the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the midst of the congregation. And he said, How can all you eat? Ye can ye, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus 
says the Lord unto you. Amen. May I bring the message of the Lord to you this afternoon. Amen. The people of Watford. Amen. Inhabitants of Jerusalem. Inhabitants of Watford. Amen. That says the Lord unto you. Be not be afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. Why? For the battle is not yours. But God. Hallelujah. Let me bring the message of the Lord unto you this afternoon. That battle that you are facing. That mountain that you are looking at. That thing that you are trying to fight. This afternoon I have come to tell you. The battle is not yours. The battle is not yours. But the battle is belongs to God. Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean you're not going to fight. It doesn't mean go home and sleep. No. Amen. Why? Because here's what the scripture says in verse 16. Same chapter. Tomorrow go in town against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff seas, and you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jehovah. Amen. Strange, right? The Spirit of the Lord comes and says, the battle is not yours. Right? But it says, tomorrow, go. I, I thought you said, I wrote, the battle is not mine. But it says, tomorrow, go. Amen. They are coming this way. But Lord, I thought you said, it's okay. Yeah. But, but go. Go. Verse 17 says, You shall not need to fight in this battle. Amen. Set yourself. Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them. Why? For the Lord will be with you. Amen. Amen. Zechariah chapter 4. Let's read Zechariah chapter 4. Amen. Familiar Bible scripture, verse 6 and 7. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone, therefore the shouting of grace, grace unto you. That's why we sing amazing grace. He shall bring shouting, saying, crying, grace, grace unto you. Almighty and eternal God, Father, we thank you for the word of God which brings our hearts alive. Father, it does something to our souls. It excites us. And we are praying this afternoon, Lord, that you can come and break this bread before us. Lord, we Almighty, when you broke the bread, on the way to Emmaus, after talking for so long, they didn't see all their eyes were still closed shut. But when you sat down and you broke the bread, their eyes were opened and they knew him. And the same journey they took, depressed, defeated, they took exactly the same journey as victorious Christians. Lord, we pray that Father God Almighty, you come and break this bread before us this afternoon Amen. that we can go back to face the enemy Amen. as victorious Christians. Amen. And we go back without fear. Amen. We go back without being dismayed, Amen. knowing this time you are going with us. Amen. We commit ourselves unto thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, friends. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. 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 God willing, this afternoon I was preaching on the battle is not yours. Amen. The battle is not yours. Amen. 
I'm not saying there's no battle. Mm. No, the battle is there. But it's just not yours. Amen. 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 But the good is the, 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 the most amazing or, or shocking part of this story. Is you are going to the battle. Amen. 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 The battle is you. You are still going to the battle. But it's not yours. Amen. But you are going still. To, but what am I going to still? What am I going to do? That there shall be a performance. God will do a performance. But unfortunately, the performance will not happen if you are not there. Amen. So I know you've got problems. I know you've got challenges. I'm not, I've not come to take them away. No, no. My preaching is not going to take your problems away. Amen. Amen. My preaching is going to send you back to your problem. But this time, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You are not going back to the problem yes. to fight. Yes. You are going back to look at the problem and laugh at it. Yes. You are going back to look at the situation and say, ha, 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 ha. Amen. Yes. Job takes the brothers of David with shivering like this. Amen. When Goliath was breaking, but when they were hearing this and they didn't know what to do, but when David got that, he heard the same thing, and he looked to his left, and Eliab was shivering. He looked to the right, and everybody was shivering. But when David heard the same words, he remembered something. And he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Amen. 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 The same battle that they were scared of. David says, bring me this Philistine. I will bring him down. Amen. 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 So this afternoon, this battle is not yours. Amen. Let's go back to the book of Second Chronicles. I just want to show you something just as a background as we go amen the same scripture that we were reading amen after god showed read about jezile Zacharias, everything amen he said heck and all ye judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou jehoshaphat that says the lord unto you be not be afraid nor despised by the reason of this girl's mouth children amen the enemy were coming from left from the right, from center, and the children of Israel were compassed around. They didn't know where to turn. Amen. And I remember, I think we've got it further down the sermon, and when Jehoshaphat knelt down to pray, and you know what he said? He said, God, act thou not a God in heaven. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes when we pray, you have to be bold. You have to challenge God upon the scriptures. Amen. Amen. Jehoshaphat, Challenged God. I said, Are you not God in heaven? Did you not bring us from Egypt? Did you not do this? Did you not heal this one? Did you not deliver this one? Did you not do this one? Did you not help our sister? Did you not do this one? What the oh God? And the Spirit of the Lord came down, amen, and said, Do not be afraid. Well, that's what the devil does first. He brings fear. The devil gives you that the first thing the devil does. You get afraid. That's where the devil gets you. Away. And the spirit of the Lord comes and do not be afraid. No mind by the reason of this little problem. No, 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 no. This great multitude. And I know your situation may be bigger. The problem may be great. Amen. But the spirit of the Lord, do not be dismayed. Do not be afraid. No matter how big the mountain is. No matter how deep the situation has gone. No matter how far gone the problem is. Even if it's the situation is dead. Because Lazarus' situation was dead. But the Spirit of the Lord said, Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Why? The battle is not yours. is not yours. Amen. But Lord, I'm fighting. I'm tired of God saying, the battle is not yours. Amen. The battle is mine. Amen. So what is God saying? The Spirit of the Lord saying, do not look 
look at your own ability. Stop looking at what you can do, amen. Because you the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. Do not look at Lord, I am not doing all I can do this. No! Look away to Jesus. Look away to him. The battle is not yours. But the beauty of this story is you think you come if you come come to God Lord, this situation is a bit difficult. I don't know what to do. And the spirit of the Lord said, the battle is not yours. Amen. It doesn't say next week. It doesn't say next year. Tomorrow. Amen. Tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Tomorrow. I'm giving somebody notice. Tomorrow. Amen. Not next week. Amen. Tomorrow. Amen. Go back exactly to the same situation. Amen. Go back exactly with the same problems. Amen. But brother, the dynamics have changed. Amen. Amen. The dynamics have changed. Amen. Tomorrow you're going to face the same situation. Amen. Tomorrow you're going to look at the same problem. Amen. But I'm here to tell you today, before tomorrow, that that battle is no longer yours. Amen. I'm here to tell you, don't be afraid. Stop worrying. Amen. Stop worrying. Amen. Why? Because the dynamics have changed. Amen. But the Spirit of the Lord says, tomorrow, Amen. go back. To the same situation, to the same manager, to the same company, to the same neighbor, to the same example, to the same situation, to the same house. Go back. I think God is going to take us out. God is going to move us overnight. We'll be changing postcode. Ah, you are going back to the same postcode. Amen. But this time, this time. You are not going back yourself. There is a motorcade. There is angels before you. And angels behind you. God is going to get to that workplace before you do. God is going to talk to that situation before you do. Amen. The battle is not yours. But God. So he says tomorrow. Go. Why do I say the spiritual? The angels will get there before you. But that's what the scripture is saying. The scripture says in verse in verse 17. Amen. No, in verse 16. Tomorrow go you down against them. Amen. Behold, they come up by the cliff this. You shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. What's happening? Listen, listen to me, my friend. Listen to me, my sister. Amen. Amen. This battle is not yours. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, go this way and go that way. Why? Because God knows what your enemy is planning. Amen. God knows how the situation is going to unfold. So you must put your trust in Jesus. Don't look to your ability. Don't look to your finances. Don't look to anything. Look away to Jesus. Put your trust in him. Blessed is the man whose hope the Lord is. Amen. Amen. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Amen. But, say, set yourself. What does that mean? No, when they go to war, they just don't set them. They set themselves. Amen. They set the war. And what Amen. the Spirit of the Lord is saying? Don't shy away. Don't change nothing. Amen. Do exactly the same thing. Amen. Amen. Set yourself. Go tomorrow and do the same thing. Amen. Amen. But this time, this time, stand ye still. Amen. This is where you and me struggle. Because we have so much to say. Amen. Uh, oh, me? <laughs> me? No. Stand ye still. Amen. This battle is not yours. Amen. This situation that's troubling you is not yours. Hallelujah. But what do you need? Go back and read. Go back and study. Go back and do this. But stand still. Amen. 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 And see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. God is going to do things beyond your own understanding. God is going to do things that you've never seen before. Amen. 
God is going to shock you. Set yourself and stand here still and see the salvation of the Lord, O oh, Judah. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them. Why? For the Lord will be with you. Amen. For the Lord will be. That's the key thing. That's what separates us from everybody else. When you ride the tube, when you go on the train, when you go on the bus, the difference is who is with you. Amen. 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 And the Spirit of the Lord he is coming to tell you exactly the same thing. Amen. Amen. For the Lord will be with. Amen. That's what separated the children of Israel from the rest of the nations. Was God was with them. Amen. That's what makes you different from the neighbor. That's what makes you close your mouth when somebody says bad things to you. That's what makes you not respond to a bad case. To this and no. Why? For the Lord is with you. You are conscious that Jesus is with me. When you are conscious that Jesus is with me, you don't even see things in your eyes. You are conscious that Jesus is with you. And when you are that, like that, God will fight. All your battles, not some, all of it. Let's see what God did. Amen. Zechariah said, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So, when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, going to the promised land, Moses came with a promise. Amen. God is taking you to a land flowing. With milk and honey. Amen. They said, At long last. At long last. Amen. Our problems are over. Yes. Were they over the next day? May God help us Amen. to learn from these stories. These are not just terms. This is the Christian, the journey that we are taking. Amen. How many are on their journey to the promised land? Amen. So you are just like the children of Israel. Amen. The message has come from a prophet. There is a land flowing with milk and honey. We are going to the promised land. Amen. 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 I give you that land. Not I might give you. God has already promised. Not only promised. God has already given. Not that land of promise. Can I come back to your house? God has already given you your heart's desire. Amen. It's already been given. Hallelujah. But brother, between now and then, you've got to fight the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Not just one day, every inch. Amen. Because the promise was given to them. But God did not say, I'm going to go out. The brother says that in the message, thou son of David, have mess on me. God told them way down in Egypt, I give you that land. But he didn't say, I will go out and sweep, sweep it all out and garnish the houses and hang up the curtains and everything and you all just move in. No, no, no. They had to fight for every inch of ground they Amen. took. Amen. Amen. That's right. Fighting and take it. Fight every inch. Amen. Everywhere the soles of your feet stands footsteps is possession. Amen. That's the same thing it is today, my brother, sister. Divine healing belongs to us. Amen. The Holy Spirit belongs to us. It's our property, Amen. but we fight every inch of it. Amen. Yes, sir. brother, footsteps is possession. Hallelujah. You just keep fighting Amen. to take it. The devil says the days of miracles is past. You say you are lying. You say Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Take it over. Everywhere your footsteps, that's possession. That's right. Amen. So God has promised the children of Israel. Amen. And when Moses came and gave them the message, they said, Finally. Ah, it's over. Thank you, preacher. Oh, it's over. The next morning, Pharaoh said, No straw. The problems become worse. Amen. 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 Let me encourage you this afternoon. 
Amen. It doesn't mean you have not got your heart's desire when the preacher preaches or when you are prayed for. Amen. 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 You have started your journey to the promised land. Amen. Amen. You have started your journey to the promised land. But as long as we are on this earth, listen to me, Christian believer, we are in a war against the devil. Amen. The devil is not just going to sit and say, ah, leave that girl. She's a believer. The moment you say, I receive Jesus Christ, you've become an enemy to the devil. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you, yes, the battle is there. Yes, the enemy will come. But remember, that battle is not yours. That battle belongs to God. But you have to be present in the battle. You have to be there all the time. Why? Because God has no hands than your hands. God has no feet than your feet. He goes to war, but inside of you. When he says, the Lord will be with you, he doesn't walk over there, brother. No, he will be inside of you. But he is now controlling the town. He is now fighting the battle. You know what the Bible says? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strong. We just don't pull little walls or little temples, no. We pull down strongholds. Amen. 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 Those things that the world cannot deal with. Those things that the devil thinks this is too much. Amen. We pull them down. Amen. Hallelujah. We can pull them down easily. Amen. So we want to pull down strongholds this afternoon. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to pull down Amen. to God be the glory. Amen. So let's go back to the book of Joshua. We've laid the background. Now we need to move on. Amen. Amen. In the same chapter in the book of 2 Chronicles 20. Now let's take this whole story and see where we're going. Amen. 2 Chronicles 20, reading from verse 1. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon with them other with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Amen. This is where we people are different. Mm -hmm. What did you see in that scripture? Mm -hmm. You heard about Moab, right? Mm -hmm. Ammon, Ammonites, and with them other besides the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Amen. Listen, there is no Moab today. There is no nothing today. But what the Bible is here to tell you, my friend, this afternoon, that problem you are dealing with is not just the only one. There is more problems coming. Amen. The children of Moab, the children of this, the children of that, Amen. that problem, that problem, you finish this one. But this time, the problem did not come along. They gained up. Amen. Listen to me, Christian believer. We are in a war. Amen. The devil will keep coming. But the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. Hallelujah. There is no victory without a war. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why the Bible says, Rejoice Hallelujah. and be exceedingly glad Hallelujah. when you enter into diverse temptation. It's a chance to put, get victory. Hallelujah. Problems are a chance to put us to work. Who was going to clap your hands? Amen. You're going to clap your hands. But there's need, we need you to go and do an exam. And then you get worried about the exam, and the preacher comes and says, Fear not. Amen. 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 Listen, brothers, these things are as simple as I'm saying. Amen. 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 There is no hieroglyphics in Christianity. Amen. Amen. That's why Brother Brown comes. God in simplicity. Amen. It's that simple. That's why we miss it. It's so simple. Amen. Amen. God in simplicity. You are afraid the preacher comes and says, Fear not. Not even the preacher, the song lead. Amen. Amen. Oh, no. When you hear that organ start playing, you get ready to receive. Amen. 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 When you walk through that door, be under expectation Amen. that God is about to speak to you because Amen. God might speak to you through the first song the pianist plays Amen. in quiet time. Amen. And the rest of your service, you are praising God. That's why I'm saying the battle is not yours. Amen. 
is God to fight. Hallelujah. Amen. The song later comes the picture song. Fear no little frog and you were afraid all the time. You know, if I were you sitting there, I would be jumping up. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody say, what's happening? You say, my goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's up? You said, and God has answered my prayer. Amen. What do you mean? When the song leader said, fear not, I knew God was telling me not to fear. Amen. Amen. That's what how do you think God speaks? How do you think God speaks to us? Here. An angel comes through this door with wings. You all jumping good me. No one will be left here. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. Abraham says every time he came, he was scared to death because it's not a present you want to be in. Amen. 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 What did Moses was told? Take off those shoes. The place you are is holy ground. The angels can't even look at you. They are just bowing their head, saying, "Holy, holy." And the angel comes through here. You are jumping through him. You don't even care how far you are going to fall because it's a scare. Amen. But yet an angel comes every time you come here. Mm. Amen. When I'm saying an angel behind the pulpit is more power than an angel with wings. Amen. And the angel behind the pulpit this afternoon is saying, fear not. Amen. Fear Amen. not. Amen. The battle is not yours. Amen. Don't worry. God will take care of his own. Amen. 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 Root on. Don't worry. The battle is not yours. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Don't you worry. God will sort it out. What do you do? Stand still. We're right at your post of duty. We're right in front of the battle. God will take care of the rest. Yes. When the children of Israel spoke in the in Egypt, right, and said, God will deliver us. The Egyptian says, Ah, who is going to deliver you from the hand of Pharaoh? But you know what year it was? It was the first year of the 400 years in captivity. It's as if nothing was going to happen. He said the same for 399 years. Right? 399 years as if nothing was going to happen. But you know what was happening? Somewhere behind. <laughs> in the backside of the desert. There was a conference. And I'm telling you this afternoon, somewhere behind the backside of the desert, there is a conference about your situation. There is a conference about what for. There is a conference about what on. There is a conference. And God is saying to a prophet, I have heard the cry of my daughter. I have heard the cry of my son. Go and deliver him. He didn't say go first. He said, I have come to deliver you. But you go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My heart is jumping. Amen. About you go. Amen. Amen. My heart, this person will keep telling me to tell you, you are the very person going back to battle. Don't know what you go. You go. God is not going to replace you, my brother. God is not going to replace you in this battle. You are the person going to fight. But you are no longer fighting yourself. God will fight for you. Amen. Mama, this is too much for you. Ah, you think Mama has nothing to fight for? Mama is going to get you to fight for you. You have to fight here, my daughter. You have to fight. The battle is yours, not Papa. Amen. The battle is Amen. one of these days, you kids, you have to learn to kneel down and say, God, hear my prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, hear my prayer. Amen. Because when Moses, when the angel came to Moses, he said, I have heard the cry of my people. Let me encourage you every time you cry, God hears. Amen. They were crying for 400 years and it appears as if God was not hearing. But God was hearing Amen. when they were struggling in Egypt. Amen. But one day, one day, an angel came with two wings, with two feet. Amen. God didn't send an 
angel with wings to Egypt. Amen. No. He sent an angel with a crooked stick. Amen. Amen. What, do you want? what do you want? Fear not. God is with him. They said, ah, you can't even speak. Amen. It's not whether I can speak or not. Yes. It's the message behind the voice. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, Amen. Speak or not. Amen. It's what God is saying. Amen. I said, the weapons of all warfare are not carnal. Amen. Mighty. When Moses landed there, he looked. You know what? What, what did the angel told Brother Brandon? Get them to believe you. Amen. That's what happened to Moses. Moses did not go to Pharaoh's house first. No. He went to the children of Israel and said, The God of Abraham, the God of the great I am, has visited me. And they said, What? You know what they said? What did he say? He says, You're coming out. You're going to the land of God. They looked at Moses. They looked at Moses. Before they said yes or no, they turned around and looked the other side. You know what they saw? A coffin with the bones of Joseph. And Joseph said, don't bury me here. One day you are coming out. Amen. Hallelujah. And when, when they looked, when they heard Moses speak about coming out. And Joseph saying, we promised them we are coming out. They said, we believe you, Moses. When they said that, Moses turned around. He wasn't afraid of Pharaoh anymore. He walked with the stick. He said, Pharaoh! Pharaoh! Thus says the Lord. Let my people go. Shall I prophesy this afternoon? Allow me to prophesy. Thus saith the Lord. Fail! Let my people go. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. If you are sitting in this church this afternoon, if you are listening online, hear the message of the Lord. God is speaking to your situation. God is speaking to Pharaoh to say, let my people go. And I'm here to encourage you. Don't worry how difficult it shall be tomorrow. Don't worry what Pharaoh is going to do next week. One of these days, you will walk out. One of these good mornings, there shall be a performance. And the death angel shall pass through. And your situation will die. That angel came, the situation died in Egypt. Amen. But the children of Israel did not die. Amen. They walked out. They walked out. Amen. The children of Israel Amen. walked out. Amen. Amen. They walked out. The children of Israel walked out. Amen. 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 While this the children of Egypt were dying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So let's move on. Second Chronicles. We are now on verse 2. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side, Syria. And behold, they be the Azazo Tama, which is in Gedi. I don't care whether you can pronounce the name of your problem or not. They coming from or not? I'm not afraid. God is with me. Amen. Amen. They came to tell Jehoshaphat, hoping he was going to get scared. And they said, They're coming. The, the great multitude is coming. And, uh, what's the name? What did they say? <laughs> they, not, it was not just a multitude. They said, A great multitude against who? The. Amen. 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 From beyond the sea. On this side, see, they were only describing one side. Mm. On this side, see, mm. before they be the Hazazo, whatever they call it, Hazazo Tama. Mm. I don't even have to know that name because I don't need to know it again. Hey, Why? Hey. Because the battle is not mine to hey, fight. Hey, hey. See, some of these things that don't try to understand these situations. You are not asking to understand, you are asking to believe in God. Hey, Amen. Ah, oh, we really need to understand. 
you know, you know, you know, nowadays we've got this thing called Google. This guy called Google. He knows everything. Anything you ask him, he's got an answer. His name is called Google. Wow. Is this? Click, click, click. Wow. You know what it is? It's just a Zazotamba. <laughs> That's what it is. Amen. Just a Zazotamba. Stop Googling. Stop Googling. Ah, so, if they say I've got this problem, what is it? Zazotamba. Yes, please Google it. You are trying to find out how bad can this situation get. No, it's just as a sort of map. They are coming from beyond the sea, this side Syria. But they are just as a sort of map. It's just a devil court as a sort of map. Amen. Whether they come from this side Syria or from that side Syria, God is with you in this battle. Amen. Don't worry. Whether it's as a sort of map or who's is it, whatever they call it. Amen. Amen. Now you know what happened. This is what I was telling you on verse 3. Exactly. This is how the devil comes to you, my friend. Amen. And Jehoshaphat feel. That's what happens. We are human beings. You get afraid. Amen. You feel the darkness, right? You're afraid. What's the... Amen. But you know the beauty of that scripture. Amen. 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 These are not just stories. They teaching us a lesson. Amen. And Jehoshaphat feared coma. And what did he do? He set himself to seek the Lord. Amen. Amen. He set himself to seek the Lord. Amen. When problems come your way, when challenges come your way, oh brother, set yourself to seek the Lord. Amen. Amen. Set yourself to seek the first of all. That's what Jehoshaphat did. And you know what? He didn't end there. Listen, my friend. Listen. What does it say? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and means what he did yesterday. He can do it today and you'll do it tomorrow. So if you want to be healed, say, God, you are a healer. Because you're healed, right? So please heal me. If you're writing an exam tomorrow or next week or tomorrow, Okay? If you're writing an exam tomorrow, right? When you wake up tomorrow, you knew they'll say, Lord, I thank you. What's the sister's name? Sorry? Sister Mickey. You say, Lord, I thank you for helping Sister Mickey with the exams. There's one thing I know, Lord. You are the same yesterday to do it for So, me, me, I am going to the exam. But what I know, I am going, but not by myself. You know who is going with you? You say, God of Sister Mike. Amen. You get to the exam and your head is going blank. You say, ah, where are you, God of Sister Mike? Ah, how shall I give a testimony if I fail this exam? How shall I give a testimony? The sister gave a testimony. So I, this exam means I'm also going to give a testimony. Lord, I thank you for passing this exam before you even walk through the door. Let me come in. Fear not. Amen. When you go to that exam room, fear not. Amen. God is going Amen. with you. Amen. The devil wants you to fear. Jehoshaphat was the king of Israel. If the king feared, means everyone in Israel, what? But the king, it's okay to fear. Let's put it that way. Of course. Because we're humans. It's okay to. But you know how to counter fear. What do you do? Exactly what Jehoshaphat did. Amen. He set himself to seek the first of the Lord. Whenever you are afraid, Amen. set yourself to seek the first of the Lord. That's how you count your fear, brother. And Jehoshaphat did not, did not finish that. No, 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 no. He said, and Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord, comma, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Amen. There you are. Amen. 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 Set yourself to seek the first of the Lord. And they say it's dinner time. You say, no dinner for me. Amen. I'm seeking the first of Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. I have a situation. Amen. I have a case to do. Amen. I am seeking the first of the Amen. Lord. Amen. You know, Brother Abraham said, neither I'm going there. 
to the country. If God does not answer me, you tell them to give my job up. If God does not answer me, I am goodbye. This is how you, what you're going to do with the children. Brother, desperation works. Amen. Some situations call for desperation. Amen. Jehoshua for the second fact of the Lord, and he said, this is not enough. Mm. You proclaim fast throughout the land of Judah. And what happened? And Judah gathered together, themselves together. Woo! Verse 4. Do you know what happened in verse 4? It was no longer just Jehoshua. Uh -huh. You know what people do nowadays? I'm going to teach. How are you, bro? I've got a situation. Please pray for me. I should do the prayer. While the guy is relaxing, having it sleep. Ah! You see what Joshua did? He set himself to sleep the first off. But verse 4 said, And Judah gathered themselves, what? Together. They gathered themselves together to ask him help of the Lord. Even unto all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sister, please, pray with me. Amen. Let's seek the face of the Lord Amen. together. Amen. 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 Please. Eh? Kids, you know the girls can talk forever. For hours and hours. One of these days, you should say, yes, Lord, my friend, help me to seek the face of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So just talk, talk. That thing, I think they come up with a tick-tock. I don't know what's good on that, to be honest. I don't even know what's good about tick-tock. Tick-tock, tick-tock, whatever talk. We talk about Jesus. Amen. And they gather, I was passing through somewhere. It's okay to talk, girls, but seek the face of the Lord. And they came to seek the first of. And Jehoshua, verse 5, let's go on. And Jehoshua stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new God. Watch verse 6. Amen. What did Jehoshua say? And said, O oh Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven? What was Jehoshua doing? He was asking God a question. Challenging God. Art thou not God in heaven? And ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of the heaven, of the heavens. And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee. Art not thou our God, who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel? And gave us to the seed of Abraham thy friend for him. And they that dwell in him built thee a sanctuary for very in for thy name, saying, Amen. Amen. If, watch, he's not finished. If, when evil cometh upon us as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee. Our, in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. Amen. You give God the scriptures back. Amen. And thou not a God in heaven. Did you not just deliver this? Did you not say the battle is not mine? And thou, did you not help this? Sister? Did you not do this? Lord, I am now in the same situation. You promised to help me. What are you doing? Proving God. Amen. Taking God at his Amen. word. Amen. 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 And Joshua, and now, behold the children of Ammon and Moab and, and Mount Seir, whom, whom, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invent when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from and destroyed them. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession which thou hast given us to inherit. First 12. All our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do. Hallelujah. But our eyes are upon thee. Amen. 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 We acknowledge. We don't know what to do. 
But there's one thing we know. Our eyes are upon them. Lord, we cannot help our situation. Lord, we don't know what to do. But there's one thing we know. Our eyes are upon them. Watch the stating. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their what? Wait to what? When mom and dad says it's time to pray, they stood before the Lord with their, that's why we say let's go to church, the boys. Yeah. They stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives and their children. Amen. Then what happened? Now we are back to where we started. Then upon Jehoshiah, the son of Zachariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jehel, the son of Matthias, Levites of the sons of us came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation and he said hey, can he, O Judah, you inhabitant of Jerusalem and thou king Jehoshaphat thus says the Lord unto you Amen, Amen. Amen. Be not be afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours Amen. but God's tomorrow go down against them Amen. Behold, they come out by the cliffs, and you shall find them by the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerusalem. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself in. Set yourself. Stand here still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O oh, Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. Now, we are going to some practical. That's what happens. Mm. But the story does not end there. Mm. Now we want to know what did Jehoshaphat do mm. afterwards. Mm. Amen. Amen. They were seeking the first of them. Amen. Right? They cried to God. Like you and me cried to God. The Spirit of God comes and speaks and says, Fear not. Amen. You answer, you listen to a tape, you read the scripture, and you get the answer. But that's not the end of the story. Amen. Amen. That's not the end of the story. Amen. There is something more we need to do. Amen. Amen. To enhance this situation. There is something more we need to do. To keep the chain going. We need to do something. To make sure our battles are finished. Amen. We need to do something. You know when people do that, they're finished. Mean, that my case is finished, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Lord. But Jehoshaphat did not do that. So let's see what happened. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord. What? What did they do? Worshipping the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Worshipping the Lord. Amen. It's not that we should just walk. It's not just about asking. Amen. Amen. Lord, we want this. No, 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 no. Amen. This is not the beginning of the story. This is now where the thing starts happening. Amen. Amen. Jehoshaphat bowed with his face to the ground. And all children. And they started worshiping. Amen. 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 They now started worshiping. What was happening when they were worshipping? God was fighting the battle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you kneel down to worship, Amen. God is fighting your battle. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I want this. Lord, I want that. Please, Lord, give me this. Lord, I want this. Amen. Off you go. Ah, yes, God is saying, but it's not starting. Amen. Because you have God. Brother, when you finish mentioning your requests, when you finish God giving you everything, that's the time to start worshiping. Hallelujah. Oh, son. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? Sometimes you can spend one hour just thanking Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Am
happiness when, when I went in prayer, what would I be saying? Just worship. Just worship. Amen. Just adore Jesus. The Lord may you stay worshiping. The Lord may you stay in your place. Oh, give the Lord a hand of praise, somebody. Start worshiping somebody. Start worshiping in your house. Start worshiping in your car. Start worshiping when you're walking. Start worshiping. The Lord you worship. He's fighting the blood. Jehoshaphat brought Israel. Mm. Everybody were there. Mm. They were talking to God. Mm. Their faces were not bowed down. Mm. No. What the scripture says, then Jehoshaphat bowed. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Is that right? Mm. Really? Let's go. <laughs> and Jehoshaphat bowed his head. Not only that, with his face to the ground. And all the inhabitants of Judah fell before the Lord. Worshipping the Lord. Amen. Amen. Watch this. And the Levites of the children of Kohathites and all the children of God stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. The children of Joshua stood Amen. to worship the Lord, Amen. stood up to praise the Lord, Amen. Lord God of Israel, with a loud voice on earth. Amen. So, if you are that person who wants to thank God when things are done. That's not what Jehoshaphat did. Amen. Amen. You know what Jehoshaphat got? Amen. God did not say, I have destroyed the children of Jehoshaphat. God did not say, I have already killed them. For Jehoshaphat and the children of Israel to rejoice. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not why they were worshipping. No, no, no. They were worshipping because God said, fear not. The battle is not yours. Amen. I am going to the battle with you. That was enough to get them dancing. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel good. Amen. 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 That was enough Amen. to bring music to the ears. That was enough for a high note to be played. Amen. They had not yet gone back to the battle. They had not yet defeated the children of Amun or the men. Amen. Amen. Frank, they were still looking at their enemy. Mm, amen. They were still looking at them. Their problem was still there. Amen. amen. But you know what they did this time? They did not look at the problem. They turned around and looked to Jesus. Amen. Look away to Jesus. Amen. This battle is not yours. Stop looking at how big your enemy is. Stop looking at how difficult this challenge is. Start worshiping. Start worshiping. Amen. 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 Bow down your head to the ground. Amen. Things keep dropping. Amen. Things keep. Amen. They bow their heads to the ground. So that when they bow their heads to the ground, they are no longer looking at their problems.
this, I need this, my problem is this. As a soldier, man. <laughs> Bow your head. Amen. Your face to the ground and start worshiping. Amen. Worship. They bowed their heads Amen. and their face to the ground and they started worshiping. Amen. Yet their enemy was still in the valley. Amen. Yet their situation was still what it was Amen. when they started pressure. Amen. Yet they were still in pain. Yet they were not yet healed. Their hand was still with us. They were to the blind person was too blind. Amen. The barren womb was too barren. Amen. But they started worshiping. Have you not done this before? And God, 
And God come and say, don't worry about this great one. But we are saying, fight your battles by prayer, Amen. coma, and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. worship him. That's what Joshua did. He said, Lord, you know the problem we have here. But I thou not actually the prayer of Joseph. He just said, Lord, these people are coming. But this is what they did. You did this and we did this to them, Lord, but you are a God. Amen. You did this and did this and this. And the Spirit of the Lord came. And Joshua started worshiping. So what was the longest time that Joshua spent doing? Remembering before God? No. The longest part of Joshua's prayer was worshiping. And still that God will sort it out. God will you stand still and worship God. If you have to study, you study hard. Don't go home and say, Me, but it says the battle is not mine. Me no study. Ah, you more study time. You more study. Yes. God will bring to your remembrance what you will study Amen. when you get into the exam. Amen. 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 Yes. Say, so, Lord, I'm studying. Help me study. So that I remember God, you just feel like chapter 6. Suddenly you just feel chapter 6. Chapter 6. Chapter 16. That's where the exam is about. That's what God does. Amen. 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 That's what God does. Amen. Amen. Jehoshaphat spent time worshipping God. Amen. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. We're really well. keeping time. I'm keeping eyes on my time. Let's move on. Amen. Amen. Hey. Time disappears, right? I haven't started. I haven't started preaching. <laughs> but all is well. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Amen. And all they, they stood up to praise the Lord God over with a loud voice on, on high. Verse 20. And they rose up and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. Watch this. Amen. Amen. This is beautiful. Amen. Amen. They went into the wilderness of Tekoa and as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Oh, hear me, O Judah. And you inhabitants of Jerusalem, watch this. Believe in the Lord your God, so you shall be established. Believe his prophets, so you shall prosper. Amen. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord. Huh? We are going to war. Jehoshaphat is appointing singers, and that they should praise the beauty of his holiness. Amen. As they went out before the army, to say, praise the Lord for his mercy and joy. Again, 
Okay, I allowed you to do that until yesterday. From today, no, no, no. The battle is no longer. You go tomorrow with your shoulders up. Amen. I am the Son of God. Amen. I am the Father of God. Amen. Jesus goes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Good to see you. Amen. How's it going? They say, Well, I saw you. You say, I'm so happy I can even sleep. Are so depressed, they can't even see. Some of us are so happy, can't even see. Amen. What's making us happy? The Lord is with us. Amen. The Lord is fighting us. Watch what God did. Watch what God did. I'm watching the time. Watch what God did. This is very good. Amen. We will be closing soon, but watch this. Let's go this and hit this all the way through. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers. Amen. And that they, should, that they should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. Amen. Watch verse 22. Watch verse 22. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. This is beautiful. Amen. Amen. And when they began to sing and to praise, oh, this is what I was telling you, my friends. So ever since I started preaching here, when they began to sing and to pray, the Lord set ambushments against the children. When they began to open your mouth and sing to God, open your mouth and give God some praise, open your mouth and praise God, clap your hands, say hallelujah. You know what's happening? The Lord is setting ambush.
your enemy will still be there. Amen. That's why we tell people, come to church. Amen. We start the ambush right here. Amen. Amen. When you leave the church, start, keep singing. Amen. Amen. When you go on the bus, sing in your heart. Amen. Worship. Amen. Thank God. Amen. You're setting ambush against that problem. Amen. When you worship God. Amen. And not only that, they were all smitten. Amen. Not some of them. They were all How did they fight? How do we fight? But remember the Bible says, earnestly contend for the faith. How do we contend? By believing. When we believe this message and put it to work, when we open our mouth to sing and to show, when they begin to Which will come against Judah, and they were all smitten. Watch verse 23. Watch verse 23. We need to get to a close. Watch verse 23. And for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount saying, I tell it to stray and destroy them. And when they had made an end to the inhabitants of Moab, everyone, everyone helped to destroy. Start fighting last. Last, start fighting joblessness. Joblessness, start fighting this. This, start fighting that. When the one that wins, you know what like the one it says, the last one. And the one helped to destroy each other. Because if they any fight one will win, then the last one self distracts. What would you do? Stand still. This battle is not yours. You shall not need to fight. Amen. But what do you need to do? Sing and praise. Amen. Stand still. Amen. Sing and praise. Amen. God will send ambushments. Amen. As a of Amen. Ambush. Amen. That's not all. We are closing. That's not all. That's not all. Watch what God did. Watch what God did. As I am closing. Watch what God did. Verse 24. And when Judah came towards, towards the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude. Behold, there were dead bodies fallen to the earth. And what? None escaped. The power of singing and praise. The power of worshiping. Not one of your problems will escape you. Because when the children of Israel looked, what were they looking at earlier? The same multitude that they looked at and came and reported to Jehoshaphat and said, a great multitude coming from the beyond the sea, Hazazotama. When they looked back at Hazazotama, dead bodies. Not only dead bodies, and none of them escaped. Hallelujah. What were the children of Israel doing? Hallelujah. Oh, son. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Sing. Get me. What were they doing? Worshipping. Amen. What were they doing? The more they worshipped, the dead bodies were dying. The more they worshipped, the bodies were dying. Let's finish. We need to finish. We need, we need to finish. We need to finish. I need to finish. Amen. Watch. Verse 25. Now watch what happens. Watch what God. Watch the beauty of the Lord. Watch the beauty of the Lord. Verse 25. And when Joshua and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance. What? Both the riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels. And they stripped off, off for them.
themselves more than they could carry away. And they were three days in gathering of the spoils. It was so much. Receive your heart desire. It's not just what you want. God will give you so much. More than you can get. There were three days in Kenya. Three days in gathering. First day they went, I mean, ah, ah. They said they became selected for their blessings. Amen. I mean, I don't want this blessing. This is too small. I need a bigger blessing. They gave and everything was there among the dead bodies. Watch this. We are closing. And on the fourth day, they assembled themselves together in the valley of Bararaka. For they, for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of that place was called the Valley of Baraka unto this day. What did they? Why did they assemble themselves together to bless the name of God? Amen. And let me finish. Let me finish on this one. I'm finishing. The, on verse 30, I'll finish. Verse 27. Then they returned every man unto Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy for the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies who the Lord what watch verse 28 and they came to Jerusalem with psalteries and harps and trumpets unto the house of the Lord and the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of these countries when they heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. Who fought? The Lord. The battle is not yours. Amen. Watch verse 30 as I close. This is the beauty of what God does, my friends. This is what God will do. So, the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet. For God gave him rest around about let's rise up to our feet what did it what did it they worshipped God they praised God when they did that God fought their battle he just did not fight And after that, the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet for his God gave him rest, rest about. Let's worship. Preacher, what are you talking about? You better start worshiping. God will bring a bushman's. If you keep quiet, your problem will be waiting for you outside. If you keep quiet, your problem will be waiting for you outside. But if you start worshiping, your enemies are going to die.
That's where your victory lies. Amen. You don't need to fight. But you're going back to the same battle. But this time, he goes with you. And when you get there, you are going to stand still and start worshiping. God will do the rest. He will ambush your enemy. He will make your situations fight against each other. At the end of it all, on verse 30, there was rest, peace, and quiet in the realms of Jehoshaphat. Because the Lord had given him, are you seeking for rest this afternoon? And rest comes if you can fully surrender and say, Lord, from today I cease to fight. From today I will not fight anymore, but I will open my hands to worship. I will raise my hands to praise. I will open my hands to worship. I will open my mouth to praise. And I will leave the ambushing to you, Lord. God remains God. He is the same yesterday, today, and are you willing to surrender the fighting to God this afternoon? Are you willing to surrender the fighting to God? Say, Lord, I'm raising my hand in surrender this afternoon. From today onwards, I will no longer fight. I will leave the fighting to you. I will use my hands to worship. I will use my mouth to sing. I will use myself to praise thee. The fight will be yours. I will go to battle, but this time I am going to worship. God bless you. He sees your hands. And he will take you at your promise. I'm going to ask Brother Robert to come and commit us to the Lord. My friend, listen, my friend. You don't need to fight. God will. Heavenly Father, oh, what a Heavenly Father that we have, Lord. Oh, there is none like you, oh, great Jehovah. Lord, we worship you, oh, God. We adore you, oh, Heavenly Father. Father God, there is none like thee. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God, our King, our Maker. Lord, we worship you. We lift your name above every other name, Lord. For thou art worthy, O oh God. Who is like unto thee, O oh God? Who can compare unto thee, O oh Heavenly Father? Lord, there is none like thee, O oh God. Heavenly Father, wait, fail us, Lord, to express our gratitude this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we worship you, O oh God. Father God, we want to thank you, Lord. Many times, Lord, we just come before you, Lord, asking you, O oh God, for so many things, O oh God. But this afternoon, Lord, after hearing such a message, O oh God, Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you, Lord. We want to say, Lord, we adore you, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for our trials. We want to thank you for our problems. We want to thank you for our situations, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for all that we are. For we know that all that we are, we owe it unto you, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord. Father God, for what you told us, Lord. Father God, to go back and look at our problems differently, O oh God. You told us not to fight, Lord. Father God, for you will fight before us, O oh God. You will go before us, O oh God. All that we need to do, Lord, is to surrender ourselves, Lord. Is to worship you, O oh God. Heavenly Father, you will take care of our problems. You will take care of our needs. You find our every battle, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship you this afternoon, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I surrender each and every individual, Lord, who's in thy divine presence, oh God. They have raised their hands unto you, oh God. Heavenly Father, they have surrendered their lives unto you, oh God. Heavenly Father, they are committed, Lord, all their requests unto you, oh God. And they are going to walk away, Lord, knowing that you will take care of their every problem. You will fight their every battle, oh God. Heavenly Father, may you go before them, Lord, in their situations. May you fight their every battle, oh God. We want to thank you, Lord, even for the men of God that you've used this afternoon, oh God. Heavenly Father, may you restore the virgin that has gone out of him, Lord.
Lord. May you bless him, oh God. May he continue to be a blessing, Lord, to the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, even for our uh, Pastor Luke, Lord, who struggled, Lord. I know at this point he might be ministering, oh God. Heavenly Father, may you go before him, Lord. As he's ministering, Lord, may you anoint him, Lord. Amen. As he's traveling back, may you grant him traveling message, oh God. Lord, even those that have failed to make it to church, Lord, for one reason or the other, Lord, may you be with them, Lord. Father God, may they be the same spirit as us, Lord. Father God, we worship your name, even as you depart, Lord. May we go with joy in our hearts. May we go with rejoicing in our hearts. May we go, Lord, praising you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we worship you. We thank you, Lord. We adore you, Lord, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Father God, there is none like you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Hallelujah, amen. amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. I want to thank you for the reason. Thank you, my Lord. To thank you, my Lord. To thank you.
Bye. Uh-huh. 